My hair getting chopped off. Uh, when you chair. when you act like a bob in like. But I do. I I do kind of lean backwards and forwards. Do you stand up straight like that and bob this? I don't think I've ever seen you do that. It's <laughs> definitely going to get out there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's... Video games are of course very popular and it's not surprising that some people might want to do nothing but play them all day. But a team of economists are now saying that simple fact is having a serious impact on the workforce, at least in the US. They say people actually enjoy being unemployed now and that's why fewer of us are actually working jobs these days. Less people are working these days than they were in the year 2000 in the United States. The US Federal Reserve has actually described the huge drop in workforce as nearly unprecedented in the post-war experience, which sounds bad. And while the unemployment rate in America has dropped to just 4.3%, that only includes active job seekers, people who are really looking for work. So what is behind the big drop? Well, a team of researchers, including staff from Princeton and the University of Chicago say that video games are responsible for most of it. In a paper titled Leisure Luxuries and the Labour Supply of Young Men, the researchers say that video games are responsible for a serious decline in working hours among young men in the US over the last 15 years. As of 2016, 15% of men between 21 and 30 were not working or in full-time education. That's nearly double the 8% it was in the year 2000. Those young men were just sitting around. And these researchers researchers say that most of them were sitting around playing games. The hours worked by men in that group fell by 12% between 2000 and 2015, higher than the declines for older male workers. And 80% of the difference in work rates between younger and older men is due to innovations in gaming slash recreational computing. You all know what that means, right? Recreational computing. <laughs> Fapping. The team found that 67% of non-working young men now live with a parent or close relative compared to 46% in 2000. Those people spent on average 520 hours every year on their computers and about 60% of that time is spent on gaming. But here's the thing, the researchers said those people are actually reporting higher levels of happiness overall. So there's still a sense of satisfaction in life for them despite not working and moving out of their parents' houses to build their own lives. And that's a fact which will no doubt terrify the 1950s dad reading the financial section of the newspaper at the breakfast table types. So what they've found from this uh, research, they, 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 I mean, how much money goes into this type of research? Well, of what, what they found is that less people are moving out earlier, like people are living with their, with their parents for longer, and that they're not working as long. They're enjoying playing games recreationally more than they used to 15 years ago or yeah. whatever. Like, how is that news to anybody? Before anyone's like jumping onto the keyboards to comment saying, oh, you shouldn't do, believe this paper and, and counter argument we're going to get to that in a second we just want to hear and listen to what the paper's got to say before we start you know ripping it, it apart yeah first of all does it matter that more people are playing games how long has it been a kind of dream of the the future that people won't have to work because automation will take care of everything robots will do everything for us that's already kind of a reality this happened this automation has got rid of so many traditional jobs already so there's already less jobs to go around are we just inching closer to that some economists have actually said that that is what is happening that is what's happening here people are happy without work that's a weirdly new idea for, for you know, the economists, I guess. It's a, it's a new thing that's happening. But this whole paper is, is just... Scapegoat in gaming is what it's... It's yeah. targeted. Yeah, it's, it's very targeted. It's very deliberate. Like, you can read the abstract, which is the first paragraph at the top of any, like, academic paper, and that's where they say this is what they're looking for. And it's very clear that, you know, they're, tr they're trying to, s to make the connection from video games to people working less, to the reduction in the workforce. So that's definitely what's happened here. And the guy behind it, he has been arguing doing this kind of stuff in the past a lot. This is not the first time he's brought this up, but this is the first time he's really gone like borne down on it and really tried to collect all of his arguments together and done some research on it. Sounds to me like a group of pissy Princeton, Chicago University people getting together to trash on the gaming community just because they haven't got enough time to play games themselves. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know where, why he would want to make that point so badly, but he does. I feel like there's something bigger is happening here. I mean, we've all seen WALL-E, right? You know what the humans are like in the future, according to Disney Pixar? It's that kind of idea, you know, where we can just lounge around and do whatever we want and, and still have satisfying, fulfilling lives without having to work nine to five. This is an interesting time with technology and, and internet stuff. It's, it's, it's already The world has already changed so much in the 15 years since they started measuring this study from the year 2000. Who knows what's going to be back in the next 15 years? You can't, like, dismiss everything as terrible bad news just because it's 
different to how it was in the past. That's it, just because your dad says it's not a, not a decent life exactly. playing games, yeah. the stats are there. People are happier when they stay at home playing games the rest of their lives. I mean, why isn't that a valid life choice for people? Why is it gotta be frowned upon? I'm sticking up for you guys here. Help me out. You, you guys. <laughs> you, you know who you are. You sat there watching this video. You're gonna get back to your gaming in just a minute. I'm sticking up for you. You know, you know what I'm saying? The economists have been calling it a leisure society for years. This is a thing that economists think will happen eventually. Yeah, that's economists though, isn't it? It's economists, people in suits who've got to, you know, work. go to work every day and, and do, do proper actual work or justify the wages that they get. Oh, I know, I know what we'll do. We'll pretend that, that these people have, haven't got legitimate lives just because we can't live the leisure life. So we'll, we'll give it a label and then we'll mock them for it. Yeah, f off. Anyway. <laughs> That one's south. The depressed labor force has long been blamed on the 2008 recession, but now the finger is pointing elsewhere at video games and the permanent changes in our lifestyle. The website fortune.com says lower labor force participation is a serious headwind for the economy, meaning video games could ultimately cause a permanent downshift in US growth. The gaming industry itself is on the, on the incline. It generates loads of gaming jobs. How the f can they say that? It's bigger than the movie industry these days, yeah. the gaming industry. All these people in the basements playing games thinking, I want to do this for a living. I want to make games. What? They didn't fact that in, do they? Arseholes. They also warned that VR could end up making permanent escape even more alluring. Arseholes. It, that, yeah, that is kind of doomsaying. But that, that's exactly it, isn't it? This is, these are big changes in technology. And just, like I said, just because they're new, just because they're different, it doesn't mean they're bad. It's just not what we're used to. So all this sounds pretty bad, right? Well, it's not nearly that straightforward, of course. This is one paper from one team of researchers, and there's people refuting this stuff already. The research is led by Chicago Booth School of Business economist Eric Hurst, who has argued in the past that advances in video games have made being unemployed more enjoyable. And anyway, there are some details in the paper itself that really don't sit well with Hurst's own theory. In the report, they've claimed that unemployed young men are spending more time playing video games than before, but they're also spending fewer hours watching TV, socializing, or engaging in other leisure activities, and they're spending a lot more time studying and looking for jobs. Now, that kind of information changes things a little bit. It shows that people are still looking to better themselves and to find work. Why would they do that if they're so happy being unemployed? Other economists have also argued that the drop in working hours in young men is due to diminished chance of promotion and progression above anything else. So that's the key thing here. People aren't leaving work to, to play games. They're just not going into work from university or, or college or whatever, and they're in the state where they're looking for work, they're studying still maybe, they're still trying to better themselves in order to get a job. Why would they do any of that if they're happy enough to sit in a home playing games? That kind of doesn't sit well with the hypothesis that, have, that they've set out with this paper in the first place. Also, it's eating into their other leisure time. So it's just that TV and stuff isn't as good as gaming to them. They play more games, it's as simple as that. There's those kind of factors that you need to consider when, when you kind of see this kind of thing. This is just one paper. So take, a, take all that stuff with a grain of salt. They're trying to justify their own beliefs by using the information that yeah. they've got and, and ignoring a lot of other inf information like how many jobs that the gaming industry like mm. makes and how many people go into work in the gaming industry. Like us, for instance, we're obviously going to defend our kept corner in this. We are employed now because of it, because we sat at home in our leisure time playing games. Yeah, we are the embodiment of like what you can get out of sitting in your basement playing games. Don't stop sitting in your basement playing games, guys. It's, it's good for you. Just stop all that fapping. That's what I'm saying. There, there was nothing in the paper about fapping. We can only... We, we know only you do it. We can only guess uh, <laughs> as to the figures there. Pure speculation we'd be running off. <laughs> which is not very not very good. We talk about fapping. I know porn industry is quite big. Maybe that leads into a, a job in the porn industry. Just because they've got degrees and shit doesn't mean they know any, any better. There's a big industry in porn. It's a big industry in games. I'm just saying, just because you're fap, just because you play games, doesn't mean you're not gonna make money out of it. This video's ending in a very different way. I always thought this was a very good, like, philosophical discussion about <laughs> and, VR and- And then Gaz gets- Do we even need to work anymore? <laughs> things like that. I brought it down a level, didn't I? Intelligence, fapping. It's another detective agency. <laughs> I mean, what it boils down to is people giving gamers a hard time for enjoying what they like doing. That's all this is. That's f***ing scapegoating people who are unemployed and shit like that. Scapegoating gamers, 
giving them, you know, blaming it all on them. Like, no, this is a hobby. This is a legitimate hobby, just like going out and horse riding or whatever else other people do outside and stuff. We like to stay in playing games. It's not because yeah. we want to be out of a job or anything like that. It's because that's our leisure time. Like, it's a whole other discussion. All right, guys, do you think you spend more time gaming these days than you did in the past? Let us know down in the comments. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. There's another video right there if you want to watch that and a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. See you next time.